Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial where I will show you the Power BI dill through configuration which is helping in connecting multiple reports via the dill through functionality and I'll show you in just a couple of minutes how you can configure and uh, use it with the help of some small steps which is just drop down within Power BI and before I do that uh, this is the sheet which I am using uh, which is present in the description as well and as you can see the title and the YouTube link is present in case if you want to search for any specific tutorial also if you want to follow along uh, with this with this sheet all right so now let's go ahead into the power bi and see the power bi deal through configuration so here we are within the power bi and these are some of the charts if you are following me uh, with each video that I'm posting then you may be seeing that these are the charts that we have created so far and what we will going to do in this video is based on the main category that is present so here technology office supply and furniture we want to link a separate sheet which is in this case let's say ribbon so what it has the ribbon chart nothing but the ranking and how the ranking has been over a period of years and based on the selection we are making in this chart, we want to filter this particular chart so that whenever user wants to have an understanding, okay, this is my overall category of technology where the sales or profit ratio or profit that, that I have, but how does it look like over a period of years? So these are some of the scenarios which you can encounter where you may need to have two reports created or you may have two page linked via this drill through. So when you click here, you should move on to this particular page and this visualization should be filtered only for the selection that is made on the page number one. All right, so how we can do that? We will going to see two different example so that by the end of this video, you will have no issue doing it. Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and move to the ribbon. Suppose these are the two visualization you have created for your reporting or analytics that you are preparing and uh, you will sell going to select this visualization. Once you will select this visualization down there, you will see the drill through option. And when you see the drill through option, you may want to add or you need to add the drill through field. And in our case, it is the product category this this is basically the, the three different product categories that we have and we want to make sure that uh, these are available over here so if i just select this and from here i will going to choose the product category and before that i'll just bring this up a little bit product category and i'll bring it here now if you see these are the three product categories the furniture office supplies and technology once we have this we don't have to make any selection over here but keep it as part of the filter and keep the default option on as to keep all filters and uh, cross cross report is off but here in this case page we are in one single report it will going to work fine so let's come back to the page one so over here if you see i hovered over to the mouse so it shows that tooltip and down there in the tooltip it also shows that there is a report or there is a page uh, not report but yeah there is a page which is linked to it in this existing report so i'll right click and uh, this is the option that we get so based on where that page is it will going to take you so i'll click on ribbon right so now you see that ribbon is now filtered only for the filter that we selected and here is the technology filter and its relevant product subcategories right similarly if you see office supplies if i right click drill through click on ribbon you will see the ribbon is now filtered for the office supply so that's the amazing functionality which it provides where in the main report you have the higher level categories which is which you want user to have further drill down or drill through based on those categories that is present and it's not just that uh, this particular visualization will going to take it if you see this visualization technology furniture and office supply if you have if you hover your mouse over here you will see the same message down there on the tooltip right click to drill through 
So we'll right click here and even in this case, drill through will be present. So wherever we have these categories present in the visualization, the drill through, drill through visualization will be enabled and we can go and just click it over there to come here. So now you see the product is technology. Okay, what is the case with the other chart? So if I hover my mouse over here in case of uh, sales by shipping mode, so say shipping mode is express air, delivery truck, regular air, nothing is coming, right? Because we have not used ship mode field in any of the visualization. So what I'm going to do is come here on the waterfall chart that we have previously created. And here in this visualization, I'll just select this. And in this visualization, what I'm going to choose is the shipping mode. Once I choose the shipping mode over here, let's see the magic that is happening on the page one. So now you see that the same message on the legend, right click to drill through. So now you probably have got the idea that based on that main category, which is present on your first page, if you have the related visualization on the second or on the third page, you can establish a relationship to give better visibility to your end user. So I'll just right click on the regular air, click on this and waterfall. In these cases for product categories, we were getting the uh, we were getting the ribbon chart but in this case it will going to take the waterfall chart so i'll just take the waterfall and over here all my visualization the waterfall chart is now filtered based on the regular air so that's the amazing functionality you get when you have the ribbon and if i come back to waterfall you will see this icon is now enabled which is control plus click here to go back to the previous so i am holding down my control key and i'm clicking over there and i am now back to my main page so that's the navigation is also present uh, whenever to assist the user to move back to the main page now the generally the natural question is that what if if i want to do more than two pages so for example what we have is the scatter chart over here and what if if i want to do a drill through here as well so in this case what we can do is we'll just take, we'll select the visualization to make sure that we are doing it right. And uh, we will, we have the product category and drill down option. What I'll do is choose the product category and present it over here. So now let's see what is changing on the page one. So if I just right click over here and click on drill through, now I have two options. I have ribbon chart and I have scatter chart. That means you can actually link more than one pages, which makes sense. Maybe have like proper business language over here to guide the user what sort of analysis uh, or what sort of drill down they want to do based on the relationship that you have established between uh, these these pages. So that's very quickly uh, and in a with the help of two examples that we have seen how you can take an advantage of drill through because there are always multiple scenarios multiple analysis that user may want to run and you can actually help them understand it from various perspectives for example in this case product category you may have sales chart you may have profit chart or you may have multiple dimensions even in the profit so you can actually have all of these options here and make it linked so that your user is always uh, having the flexibility as to move on to where they want to move or where the analysis is present, which makes sense from the business perspective. So that's very quickly about uh, the drill through option, how to work with the drill through option and utilize it within the Power BI report to make your Power BI report uh, uh, having the relationship established, multiple pages, as well as uh, enabling the user to do way much better than just just with the one normal page all right now i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic